guys, so today it's Friday night and I actually have my niece coming up to visit so I want to make a really nice dinner for us. Like, Not that it is very involved, it's actually going to be pretty quick to make, but it's hearty. It is a chickpea sweet potato coconut curry. Um, I'm going to also add some spinach in it, but you can also add kale and it has lots of warming spices. It's not spicy per se, but it's definitely super flavorful, very hearty and of course incredibly healthy as well. I wanted to share with you a couple of um, wine pairings that you might um, consider for this. Of course, it's Friday night, it's the weekend, we're going to definitely have a glass of wine. So you can go with something like a sparkling wine. Sparkling wine goes with anything. Basically, when you're in doubt what to pair with anything, pick a sparkling wine. So this is Castelroy Cava, one of my favorite cava producers. This is from Penedesh in northeastern Spain. Beautiful if you like bubbles. Alternatively, you can pick something like a Pinot Blanc from Alsace, or even a Pinot Gris. It's a pretty fruit-forward white wine, but it still has nice acidity, and it pairs really well with something that has a little kind of sturdy, spicy um, a flavor profile like the curry. This is a Pinot Blanc. It's one of my favorite um, white wines to drink with curry. Or if you are a red wine person, this is a very fruit forward uh, red wine from Spain. It's Rivera del Duero. This is Tempranillo based. So it is uh, next to Rioja. A little bit more fruit forward, a little heavier, uh, but perfect and will pair also really well with it. So let's get cooking. So this is how you cut an onion. You see you have the actual root part. You don't want to actually cut the root part. You want to cut the stem. So you want to cut that off right so discard you want to cut it in half and then you want to peel it so peel off the outer layers like so and the second half like so and then we're going to start to cut each half so i'll show you one half how you do it okay so you want to cut it um you see how you have a pretty wide opening here you want to cut it twice like that and then twice you know basically half an inch across and then again twice like so and then this is how you get even slices guys super quick boom there you go Alright, so now I have the flavoring agents of the curry. So you see I have a, about a 3-4 inch piece of ginger. I have some nice chili. You can use whatever chili pepper you want. You know, it can be pink, it can be, you know, orange, green, and then of course garlic. So many people know, like, how am I going to attack this ugly piece of ginger? So I just usually cut off the sort of ends like this. Um, and then the easiest part to really... Um, peel a ginger is to take a, a teaspoon like this and then you basically just scrape it and that way you don't waste any ginger and it's super easy it's done in like no time at all so you want to you know obviously you don't want the outer layer of the ginger because that's the skin so you know you just peel it like so and there you go and I just cut it finely <laughs> about a tablespoon or so of coconut oil just to get this pan started before I add the aromatics. This is going to happen pretty quickly. I have it on pretty much on medium high heat. So I want to get that started. 
the aromatics have been going the onion garlic ginger chili and I'm going to add my favorite curry paste which is the Masaman curry comes in a can like this really cool I'm going to add probably a good two tablespoons you know obviously you want to add to your desire how spicy do you want it I'm going to add a little more how about that and then I have a, ma a mac mix of coriander and cumin so I'm going to add a good two tablespoons this is me I'm just you know who I am chef here you go mmm yummy add the ma mix of sweet potatoes I have a mix of Japanese and regular sweet potatoes which is why you see the white and orange I'm also going to add a little bit more salt because I love to have seasoned food just basically make the um, curry coat the sweet potatoes it only takes a few seconds oops one escapee and then I'm going to add the crushed tomatoes organic crushed tomatoes there we go and I'm going to let that cook and then I'm going to add the chickpeas I'm going to just add half of this I'm going to use the rest of them for a hummus that we're going to have for a little appetizer tomorrow so look see how nice this is and then I'm going to add coconut milk yummy and that's it so this is what I like to use as an addition to my curry. I choose organic long grain brown rice, but you can also use white rice or quinoa if you'd rather. So now the curry, the chickpea sweet potato curry has been cooking for about 30 minutes. You can let it go longer if you want, but it's thick. You can see the canned tomatoes has sort of cooked in, the, um, the coconut milk has cooked in. So we're going to add some aromatics, which is um, cut up fresh cilantro. I absolutely love cilantro. If you don't love it, you don't have to add it if you don't want. And then um, some fresh lime juice. Just squeeze in um, about a one um, lime. I'm just going to show you one half of a lime right now. And then for some other greens, I am going to add in some uh, fresh spinach. That way you ensure you have your greens and it's going to cook down. This is this looks like a lot, but it's actually going to cook down to absolutely nothing. Uh, you're going to see it. And this way you have delicious, healthy, flavorful cooking in less than 45 minutes, guys. And you can actually freeze this and um, portion out throughout the week and you are going to look like a rock star cooking this meal. Finished dish guys and we just want to finish it off with a nice little fresh cut cilantro and a slice of lime and boom you're ready to eat.